So uh, in case the idea had any merit, I wanted to go ahead and record uh, an experiment that I'm doing with my house. I have found spots of mold in my ceiling and I want to try to get rid of it um, in a, uh, you know, an efficient and inexpensive way uh, without hiring an old remediation company to come out and, and do all their uh, magic with it. So if this works, I'm going to show you step by step what I'm doing and maybe it will help you do it also. All right, thanks. So this is the first sign of mold that we saw. This is in one of our guest bathrooms right on the ceiling there. This is an outside wall and we found a source of a leak that was causing moisture in there on the outside wall and uh, we replaced some wood and stopped the water infiltration there. This was the second source of mold that we could find uh, that we noticed. Um, it was actually it turned out to be a leaky toilet in the second floor that was slowly leaking down into the subfloor and then here the first floor ceiling and it uh, I poked a hole into where it was uh, obviously a dark spot where mold was growing and the drywall just fell out so that is probably about the size of maybe a half a fist my fist couldn't fit through there but it was it's 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 you know it's big enough and um, we think it's contributing to mold in the air all right, so my original idea came from the commercial mold foggers that are used in basements and things to reduce the, the mold spores in the air and kill the mold on, on all the surfaces that are, that are down there, and people use them in bathrooms and things like that as well. Um, but I thought, you know, why, why couldn't I create something like that and not pay $50 a can for it with something that I already had? Um, in my in my possession and I, I happen to have a, a like party fog machine and I started thinking why can't I use that for the same thing and um, so here here's my experiment to see if that I can um, this is this is a, a fog machine that I purchased on e oh, not on eBay um, on Amazon uh, a while ago and this is the this is the the fog juice that it uses uh, high density fog works. It's basically you know your average propylene glycol based uh, fluid uh, that's used for this hot fog mixture. Uh, it probably has some surfactants and other things in there. I don't know, know what's all in it. I do know that it's non-toxic and that should uh, um, not change with the experiment hopefully. Uh, and so I'm going to show you what what I'm going to do. So my approach is going to be to add uh, some essential oil to this fog juice uh, that are known, that, you know, the oils that are known to either reduce uh, the transmission of mold from one place to another or <clears throat> to reduce the mycotoxins that mold spores release into the environment um, or on the surfaces of the things in your house um, or uh, to kill mold outright. And so I, I I think that the idea behind this would be that all of these uh, anti-mold agents would then be, uh, uh, I guess, put into the air um, uh, and, 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 and it will float around and land on all of the surfaces and, and get into all the cracks and crevices that I can't, uh, you know, spray down or wipe down with a cloth. And hopefully that will act as an, an anti-mold uh, remedy for our house. So here we go. Let's try it out. So what I did was to, I took the fog uh, juice and I mixed it with the essential oils and then I used an immersion blender to create a suspension so that it wouldn't just be floating on the top. And it did a pretty good job of doing that. Okay, so the holistic approach to what I am going to be doing will be to uh, hopefully atomize this essential oil treatment of this room that I'm going to start with and um, and then after I let that disperse as much as uh, it's going to, um, I will then uh, turn on an ionizer and hopefully that will uh, work to further um, sanitize the room through the production of ozone and uh, capture any particulates that are in the air and and uh, make them fall out of the fall out of the air onto the ground so they can be cleaned. So hopefully uh, those two things put together will help to uh, kill and eradicate the mold in this room. And so we're going to find out. 
here we go. This is the the first test of the uh, the fog machine with these essential oils in it. So far, so good. It actually smells pretty good. <laughs> The, um, the atomized molecules, or I should say particles, of the um, essential oils mixed into the, the fog machine liquid. And so I'm going to go ahead and let that probably be enough for one room. I have no idea if it's enough. That's the thing. Uh, you know, both the concentration of how much essential oil is in that liquid and the amount of fog that's needed in a room to actually make it work, I have no idea. But, you know, you have to kind of start somewhere. So this is, this is like the density of the fog that I'm going to start with. And we shall see. So for some reference, this is the density of that fog after about seven minutes of hanging in the air. It really has dispersed pretty evenly throughout the room. Um, I, it smells strongly of essential oils, so I, it, it, you know, I can tell they're in the air uh, at some level of concentration. And um, I will probably let it sit for another half an hour before I try to filter it out. Okay, so this is the room after about 18 minutes. It's still really foggy in here. It's, it's fairly dense. Um, and I realized that in the last video that I made uh, where I showed the essential oils, I didn't tell you exactly what I put in there. And so the essential oils that I added were tea tree oil, uh, lemon balm, uh, sage, uh, lemon seed oil, uh, peppermint, wintergreen, and clove. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, and lemongrass. So those were the oils that I added in varying amounts. Uh, like I said back then, I have no idea how much of each would be, you know, optimal. I just, I just, I just winged it. And so I added some, and so the idea is kind of just proof of concept at this point. So hopefully that, that will get you started. And so this is one hour later. It looks like almost all of the fog has dissipated. There is a slight amount of fog left in the air, but it's almost all completely dissipated by now. And I'm gonna start the ionizer going, and we will see what that does after uh, running that for uh, probably an hour. So another thing that I'm doing as I move to the main parts of the house to release this fog is that I'm going to remove all of the filters from the air conditioning system. I have those really uh, uh, um, high dollar filters that are supposed to you know filter out uh, even bacteria and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and, and remove those and allow the fog to circulate through the house freely and also uh, introduce the fog to the air conditioning system itself to give it more, uh, hopefully, better effect. So I decided to do twice as long uh, of release of the foam in my bedroom. And this is me standing at my bedroom door looking into my bathroom and that is my fan in the ceiling and that is the windows outside of my bedroom. So you can see it is incredibly thick. Now I am breathing this stuff and um, you know one of the things that if you're going to try this you are taking the risk that this could actually hurt your lungs. I will say that you know as I breathe this it's not horrible but there is a slight irritation in my lungs and I, and I, I can imagine that that might be from the fog itself like if you were into you know if you, if you had just the fog going and it was this thick um, it might hurt your lungs to sit here and breathe it. Um, or it may be also those essential oils that are, are now landing on my, in my lungs and being, you know, a little bit of an irritant. Um, you know, that being said, it's not horrible. I don't feel like I'm choking. 
Uh, my throat is not closing up. There's no, definitely no allergic reaction going on. Um, so just wanted to say that little bit of information might be helpful. So I hope that little experiment was helpful to you guys in some way. I, I, you know, there's no way for me to really prove whether that was super effective or not. Um, the, the best thing that I could do would be to, um, you know, use the agar agar tests in order to collect uh, mold spores, let them grow, and then have them analyzed. Uh, and that would kind of give you an idea of like the concentration of mold in the air or the type of mold in the air. But it's, it's, uh, it's not incredibly applicable to what we're doing because, you know, as soon as you open the door, the front door, you're going to let mold spores into your house. And they are going to collect on that, that collection tray and they are going to grow. And so you're going to find that there is mold in your house, no matter what you do, there, there is going to be mold. My aim in doing what I did was to hopefully reduce the amount of maybe dangerous mold that is growing on the surface of things in my house and floating in the air um, for, uh, you, you know, the, the people who are living there. And, you know, I know that it, that, that mold is going to be uh, infiltrating from other areas in the house because it's, it's not airtight and it's going to come from the outside. But hopefully it will reduce it. And that's the idea. Uh, we're not looking for perfection here. We're not looking to completely eliminate mold from our lives, uh, you know, completely. We're looking to reduce its intensity and its its concentration so that people who are allergic to it or affected by it, like like my family who has Lyme disease, um, that they won't be they won't be affected by it as as much. And uh, the only the only way that we'll be able to tell whether this has worked, you know, at all is is anecdotally. If they, uh, those that, those in my family that, that are affected by mold and really struggle with that, um, if they are, um, you know, if, if they're not as affected by it when they are in the house after this treatment. So they're going to be able to give me feedback and I'd be happy to post that as well, what they say this did for them. So that being said, if anybody knows any other way of really telling whether this worked or not, um, I am all ears. Uh, so please comment or uh, you know, send me a private message or something like that telling me, you know, ways that I, maybe I could improve this or ways that, that I could test whether it was effective or not, uh, better than, than what I know. And, and also maybe some other uses for it. Cause I, I started thinking about some other things that I could possibly do with this and, uh, I may post on that later. <laughs> All right. Have a good night.